Hey there, and welcome back to Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. And here's where the video starts to go downhill. Barely eight seconds into it. Here's where I'm supposed to properly introduce today's tutorial and tell you it features a new way I created to contour and highlight. But did I do that? No! And now that you know, let's continue this train wreck into what becomes the worst video ever. So the other day I was in a big rush to get my makeup on and to get out the door and get to work and I completely did my makeup backwards. And here's that delightful awkward moment where I realized that the concealer under my left eye has completely creased, wrinkled, and become a hot mess making me look 137 years old. Yeah, when it came to my blush, my highlight, and my contour, I did it every way we're taught not to do it. I did it in the reverse order. And you know what? I liked it. I liked the way it came out. It was smoother. It was more contoured. It had sharper lines. It didn't have stripes. It wasn't overdone. So I'm thinking I'm going to incorporate this mistake into my beauty routine. I'm going to show you the way the traditional way looks on one side and the accidental way I came up with looks on the other side. You tell me which one you like. And now we come to the part in which it's painfully obvious that I am making this video late at night because the puffiness under my eyes has not only turned into bags, but a complete set of matching luggage. So traditionally, we would start with our contour. So on this side, I'm going to do the traditional way. Creating that line, blending it out. Okay, so this this is the traditional side for the contour. So traditionally, the next thing we would do would be our blush. Take a little bit of the blush on a blush brush. And now on this side, the traditional side, I'm going to apply it. I like to use soft circular strokes. So this is the traditional blush side. That awkward moment when you realize that no, you aren't glowing, but rather sweating from a lovely menopausal hot flash that has thrust you into your own personal trip to the tropics in the middle of winter. And now tradition tells us to apply the highlighter on the tops of the cheekbones. So in the traditional method, I'm going over here on the tops of the cheekbones and applying the highlighter. Now, what I don't like about this traditional method is the highlighter kind of seems to take over. It blends too much into the blush and your blush kind of disappears. And I'm going to add a little bit more highlight powder because I like to glow. Adding some to the tip of my nose and to my cupid's bow, none of that has changed. Also taking a little bit of contour powder and just going to place that right underneath my lip because that gives it a little bit of a pout. We've got a whole tutorial on how to make your lips look fuller and bigger at any age, particularly those of us over 40 because as we age our lips get smaller. So that tutorial will be linked up above so that you can see how we get a fuller, plumper pucker. Note to self. Never ever record again when you're getting over pneumonia and look like death warmed over. Now we're going to move over to this side. And basically what I'm going to do is everything in reverse. On this side, we did the contour, we did the blush, and we did the highlight. On this side, we're going to start with the highlight. I'm using the exact same brushes, the exact same product, and the exact same amount so that there will be no discrepancies. So we've got that highlight on first. Now I'm going to take my blush and put it where you would normally put your blush, along the cheekbones, but I'm doing it under the highlighter so that it doesn't get lost. So we have this side and this side. Now here's what I think is truly magical. Taking the contour powder and putting it on last. I'm taking the same amount and the same colors that I would normally use for my palette. And now watch this. Yep. 
Here we have a very sharp line, whereas here it gets a little bit more muddy. Here we have a definite contour line. So here we have the traditional side. Over here we have this new method. Now, over here I've got definite demarcation and definite stripes. So because I don't want stripes, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and blend it. Blend it out. Now we see that the highlighter is still sitting on top of the cheek, but the blush is not lost. And one last trick for this side on the blush. I'm going to take just a tap, tiny tap, tap it off, and right here on the apples of the cheeks, smile, right here on this round part, boom. Who do I think I am? Emerald Lagasse? Look at the difference between the two sides. You have brought the cheeks forward. You've made them look fuller, plumper, glowier, more youthful. And don't we all want a more youthful looking face? Actually, all I really want right now is to curse this blasted hot flash and go stick my head in the freezer. So here on the traditional side, we see a little bit of a muddy contour, a little bit of muddy blush, and this highlighter is just sitting on top. To me, this side is more blended, it's less muddy. You've got a very distinct highlight, but it's not a stripe. You've got a well-blended blush, and you've got a very distinct, but not overly harsh, contour line. So this is what it looks like face on. So I'm gonna keep using this method for a while. It's something I absolutely, accidentally, fell into, we may have just revolutionized Makeup Forever. Honey, you ain't Wayne Goss. Well, maybe not that drastic, but we may have found a new technique. So you try it, tell me what you think. Worst transition known to man coming up right now. Okay, here's the finished product. Can you tell a difference? Do you like one more than the other? So which one do you like better? Tell us in the comments section below. And if you try this method, I'd love to know. Post your pictures on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Two Real Chicks. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please give it a big old thumbs up. We so appreciate that and we so appreciate the time that you spend with us. It makes our day that much more special when you keep us company. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you never miss one of our videos. And until next time, I'm Carla from Two Real Chicks. Bye-bye. We love you.